We bring to you the inspired word of God as you listen to the teachings and preachings of the servant of God, Hosanna David, preaching the end time gospel. We need your fire in this house. Your fire is a consuming fire. Let that fire descend upon this house. Let it enter every soul. Let it enter everybody here. Lord, every mark that does not come from you, every mark of identification that came from Satan the devil, every mark that is of the evil one, may your fire consume me this morning. We sprinkle the blood of Jesus. We sprinkle the blood of Jesus. We sprinkle the blood of Jesus. We sprinkle the blood of a lamb. We sprinkle the blood of Jesus. We sprinkle the blood of a lamb. That blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary, we soak ourselves into that blood. May today be the day of your deliverance. May today be the day of your salvation. May today be the day of your emancipation. May the power of God lift you up from that captivity. Every mark that has been heightened in your life, that has been projecting a false identity of you. Every mark of disfavor that has been following you about. Every mark that introduces you as a slave. May the fire of God consume that mark today. As many the devil have been mapped out for destruction. Any mark that you are bearing that makes you not to meet with good and have intercourse with goodness in life. May that mark, may that power receive divine separation now. Separation from your destiny in the name of Jesus. Every mark of limitation, every mark that is driving you from having divine fellowship with your maker, May that mark receive the judgment of God. Lord, your word is like a hammer that breaketh rock into pieces. Your word is fire. It is a consuming fire. Lord, sanctify us by your word. Your word is truth. Let that sanctification, that setting apart, come through your word right now. And let there be deliverance in this house. Because wherever the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. May that freedom be our portion now. May the fire of the Lord burn into every heart in this place. May the truth be embedded in your heart deeply. So that the devil can in no wise steal it away from you. In Jesus' name we pray. A clap offering to Jesus. Clap your hands for Jesus as you have your seat. Uh, I want to appreciate my fathers in this house. I'm not worthy to talk so that you listen. Um, may the Spirit of God use me to talk in Jesus' name. <laughs> Rejecting evil mass. Straight ahead, let's go to the, the test of today. The topic is rejecting evil marks. Revelation chapter 13. I want to begin the reading from verse 14 to the end. Revelation 13, 14. And deceived them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should mark, make an image to the beast which had a wound by a sword and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Verse 16, and he caused all. Everybody say all. all. Everybody say all. all. Shout it louder, say all. all. And he caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand 
or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the number of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Here is wisdom. Here, here is wisdom. Here is wisdom. Let him that had understanding count the number of the name. For it is the number of a man. And his number, everybody read it together. His number is what? Six hundred, three score, and six. In numbers, what do you say? Numerical numbers. Six, six, six. Praise the Lord. God, when you go through Revelation and you read through the words of Jesus Christ, both the one Jesus spoke and the one said, the angels he said also spoke. If you go through the words of Jesus, you will discover that many of the things that we have spoken there are in symbolism. They use symbols. Symbols to describe a lot of things. And this is why people don't so much like reading the book of Revelation. Because it looks like the more you read, the more confused you are. I pray for us that we will not be confused. The word of God will not give us confusion. But the spirit of God will give us illumination in Jesus' name. A mark is a symbol used for identification or indication. Indication of ownership. What is a symbol? Symbol. If you look at the church, everywhere you will see symbols. We have the major symbol of, what is the symbol of Christianity? The mark of Christianity. What is it? What is the mark of Islam? Half moon, crescent moon and what? And star. Praise the Lord. What is the sign of Satanism? Eh? Six sixes. Yes, it's number one. There are other ones. A symbol is a mark or a sign. It can be a word that indicates or signifies or that is understood to represent something else. Either representing an idea, representing an object, or representing a relationship. That is a symbol. Symbol does not stand for itself. A mark does not stand for itself. It stands for something else. Why pastors, the common name they call uh, pastors, uh, bishops, prophets, evangelists, teachers, man of God. Eh? Man of God. It is because they are representatives of God on earth. So, likewise, symbols, marks, they don't represent themselves. They represent what is behind them. So, when Revelation says that let him who has understanding calculate, calculate means discerning by intellectual ability, discerning the meaning of something, the ability to decode the result of something. Especially numbers. Let him that has wisdom calculate, decode, demystify this particular number. It means that this mark is not just a mark you see and you know the meaning. In fact, there are lots of logos we have around that are representing things we do not know. Unfortunately, sometimes we see some people, they just see a mark and they like it. They see a earring, I like this earring. They just buy. There was a spoon I used to have in my house. One day, I looked at the spoon very well. I discovered that they call it star spoon. It has crescent moon, half moon, and star. I said, this is Islam. 
I have been eating with the spoon of pagans all these years. I had to throw it away. It's gone. There was a day, I, my little nephew of about seven years, I said, okay, let's go to the market. Let me do some little shopping for you. And because if you buy clothes for him, he's very active. He can just destroy them. So that kind of child, you don't buy lace for that child or suits. You buy bobo for that child. Eh? So that as he's destroying them, you are pumping in another bobo. We went to the market. I was selecting clothes. I spent time. By the time I pick a shirt, look at it, I will see satanic sign. We'll drop it. Pick another one. Satanic sign. We'll drop it. It took me time. I spent hours trying to buy clothes for a little boy. This is a kind of world that we are living in today. And because of ignorance, we have people who have received evil marks into themselves. In Genesis chapter 5, open your Bibles. Genesis chapter 4, not 5. Genesis chapter 4, verse 15. And the Lord said unto him, that means God said to Cain, it was a conversation between Cain and uh, God. Therefore, whosoever slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord set a mark. Everybody, everybody say mark. mark. Say mark. mark. And the Lord set a mark upon Cain. And what was a mark? This one has been set apart for suffering and disgrace on earth. And if any man sees this vagabond and then kills this man upon the mark I have put on him, I will avenge the death of Cain upon that man. How many times? Seven fold. Seven times. So God himself does not play with marks. There are people with library of CVs. When I mean, when I say library, I mean what I'm saying. They have, they have done so, so degree, they have masters, they have doctorate degree, but wherever they are going with their CV, there is another mark of rejection that goes ahead of them. Before they get there, no, 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 no. We don't want you. Uh, your papers look good, uh, but uh, they must find one reason or the other to displace the person so that the person will not be employed. I was told a story some years ago that there was a man who was living. He had a good job, but each time the white man will pay this man. Somebody in the spirit world will first of all came and collect the money. So the man receives the cash without the value. He receives the physical cash without the value of the money. Somebody takes the value from him. So one day, the white man had pity on him and said, please, can I tell you something? He said, yes. Okay, the next salary you want to receive, make sure you get a very sharp cutlass. Get a sharp cutlass. And before, as I stretch my hand to give you the salary, cut the air, 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 air. Cut the air first. But make sure you don't cut my hand. Though. So the man obeyed. Bought a very sharp cutlass. As normally the month has ended, he went there to collect his salary. And as they were giving him his salary, he brought out the cutlass and split the air open. The next thing was drops of blood on the ground. He collected the salary. By the time he got home, the mother had one hand. And we talk, oh, I want to confess. What do you want to confess? I have lost my hand. Where did you have accident? This chap cut. The woman said, since you have been working, 
I collect the salary first before it gets to your hand. So by the time the money gets into your hand, it has scattered. We spend it over there to buy aeroplane and all the good things. You, you just hold the paper. Every power that is representing you in the world of darkness. May the fire of God consume me today. Sometimes when I look at the world and I see the way people live their lives, I just cry in my spirit. Because we are living in a world that is physical. And we humans that are physical, the greater part of us is spiritual. To thought of the human being, the spirit and the soul, they are spirits living inside a physical body. And the laws that govern the whole of this earth, they are spiritual laws. Let me tell you something. After Cain killed Abel, you know, Cain was a tiller of the ground. Eh? He was a tiller of the ground. And things were still better. Though not very good, because God had laid a curse upon the earth when Adam and Eve sinned. But after Cain killed Abel, God said, look at verse 14, Genesis 4, 14. Behold, thou hast driven, okay, this is um, uh, not verse 14. 12. When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee as strength. A fugitive and vagabond shall thou be on earth. The Bible says, it is not of him that will it. It is not of him that does what? That run it. But it is of God who does what? Who showeth mercy. So Cain was to walk like an elephant and begin to eat like an ant. There was a mark upon him that even where everybody is making it, once you can guess there, you must fail. And that is the meaning of a curse. Curse! It is the anointing, anointing in quotes, and unquote. It is, a curse is the anointing to fail. Why? Favor! It is the anointing to prosper beyond expectation. That is favor. Beyond your ability and beyond your expectation. This world is governed by spiritual laws. And until we know these laws, we will continue to pray and scream and samatot and speak in tongues. Yet little or nothing will happen. Because what we say with our mouth has no meaning or just little meaning. If there is a divorce between what we do and what we say, if the two do not agree, there is a problem. Praise the Lord. Look at your neighbor. Say neighbor. neighbor. Tap your neighbor very well. Say neighbor. 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 Do you know? You are, a being. you are a spirit being. What is the answer? You know? How many of us don't feed our spirits today? When we spend all the time beautifying the body, leaving the spirit alone, may God deliver us. There are humans on earth who are symbols of failure. Once you get in contact with them, you must fail except you carry the grace of the only wise and almighty God. There are some other persons who if you happen to meet with them, like Jacob, even the barren animals will begin to produce. There are some persons who have been blessed there are others who are carrying curses. That is why some people come to church and say, eh, man of God, the Bible says, who, who, he who finds a wife, finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. But since I found my wife, no good thing is coming. 
the church has to look, Christian men and Christian women has to look beyond how much the man is having in his bank account. And the shape of the woman, how fair and how artistic uh, the woman is. And still look into what the woman carries in her spirits. Praise the Lord. Because there are some persons, the Bible says, he who joins himself with the Lord becomes one spirit with the Lord. But in verse 17, the Bible says, in verse 16, he who joins himself with the prostitute becomes one body with that prostitute. By the time you join yourself with anybody at all, at all, and consummate the marriage through sexual relationship, you become one flesh with the person. You don't just share blessings in marriage, you share the causes too. Whosoever you are getting married to, I know I'm talking to somebody in this house. The woman should not just carry your children in her womb. She should be able to carry your destiny and help you to fulfill your destiny. When you align yourself with somebody who is carrying the anointing to fail, you are bound to fail, except God does something. These marks, they can be physical, they can be spiritual, they can even be marks in your spirit. Apostle Paul made a statement in Galatians chapter 6, verse 17. He said, from henceforth, let no man, no man, does what? Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. 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 Henceforth, henceforth, let nobody, henceforth. including you, including trouble, me, trouble me. For I bear, for I bear. In, my in my body. Somebody said the marks. The marks, the marks, the marks. of the Lord Jesus. Say amen. amen. Let's no man. Paul knew that he had a mark, the mark of identification from the Lord. It is very painful that we who are children of light, if we carry our big Bibles and meet Satanists and Proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ to them, only few will repent. Do you know why? They are controlling this world. They are in charge of this world. The Bible says that Satan is the God of where? Of this world. He is, let me read it for you. He is the God of this world we live in. He is in charge. But thank God, though we are in the world, we are what? We are not of the world. Okay, it's 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4. In whom the God of this world had blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Jesus, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. If Jesus caused Satan the prince of the kingdom of this world. And then Paul is also saying here that Satan is a god of this world. Yet many of us Christians don't want to believe. Some years ago, many years ago, when Jehovah's Witnesses come to preach and they tell me that Satan is ruling this world, I will argue with them. I will tell them, if Satan is ruling you, he's not ruling me. But a day came, I was in school. This question came into my mind. I was in Adamibudu, and I asked myself, who is in charge of this world? Who is in charge of this planet? Until I find this question, I find a suitable answer. I'm not going to do anything. I started doing research. And I concluded from the scripture that Satan is in charge of this planet. That is what the Bible says. We are in this world, 
but we are not of this world. We are in the church. We are living in the world, but we don't belong to this world. We belong to who? To Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. If you look around, you see a lot of evil marks, satanic signs everywhere. Yet Christians, excuse me, Christians are running after fashion. Even one of the biggest satanic signs, I see people wear it to church. Here's a gram. Six-pointed star. A star that has six points. People wear it. Some people wear the tattoo. And they are happy. When, let me break it down for you. Hexagram means, it's from two words. The etymological root of the word hexagram is from hex. Which means to curse. To curse spare. Upon somebody to place a curse upon somebody. Then gram is from the word diagram. When witches want to perform evil, they draw this six-pointed star on the ground and they enter into the middle. I have listened to many satanists who repented into Christianity. Satanists, satanists who got converted and became Christians. That they draw it on the ground, they will enter the middle so that they can project their astral projections very well. And they believe that so long as they are inside that hexagram, nothing touches them. In case anything wants to backfire, they are protected according to their belief. But you see people using it. Some say it's the star of David. It's a lie. Let's come back from there. A lot of tattoos. How can a Christian just go and buy anything? In the market, or just see a tattoo. I like this tattoo very well. A Christian, put it on my back. Oh, I have too many stretch marks. Just use the tattoo to cover the stretch marks. There was a small girl, a small girl of about 14 years old. One day she was sleeping. When she woke up, she took a pencil and drew something on the paper. And went to an artist and said, you see this flower, carve it on me. And the artist placed the tattoo on this girl. How did we know? Even the mother did not know. It was one day she was dying. As she was passing away, they were stripping her clothes off. A girl of about 14, 14, what is it? 14 years. They now saw the man. When she managed to open her mouth to speak, she said when she was in the water world, they gave her this mark. She quickly got up and drew it on a paper so that she will not forget it. It is the mark of their identification. In the water kingdom, a fellow Christian will see that mark and say, you look so beautiful. This mark is so sexy. Can you show me where you got it? You will go and get it. What you don't eat. Somebody says, please use your teeth to divide this thing for me. He said, no problem. I can divide it. You are my friend. You use your teeth to share it. Tell me anything that will touch your teeth that will not touch your intestine. May the Lord deliver us the church. The Bible says that the kingdom that the children of the world are wiser in their own generation than the children of the kingdom of God. Because why? We, are, we have couched ourselves to be the children of it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And as we talk now, do you know that some people, they have no key to open their houses? If they want to enter their house, they just rub their palm, their hand, against the door and the door will open because they have fixed a microchip into their hands there, there is a company I read about they said they don't want strangers to enter 
inside their factory. So if you must work in that factory, you have to receive a mark. It's just so small, like a grain of a rice. Very small. There are some even smaller than that. Some are just in form of tattoo. They will just put it there. The way they are kidnapping people in Nigeria, if technology arrives in Nigeria that come and put microchip into your body so that in case they kidnap you, they will know the exact position you are. We people not agree? People will agree. Because it was with frequency, the wave. It's a radio frequency identity mark. Wherever you are, people are using it to track their children. Even some husbands who can't do without a woman, yet they have. When they are wedding, the wife will say, uh, we have to receive this microchip. So that, in case you are telling me you are in Abuja, meanwhile you are in the back of a Budu market with one idiot, I can log into my computer. I know that you are enjoying yourself with one idiot there. And I will receive it. We have to be wise as a church. If we are not wise enough, this battle against our souls, we will lose it. We will lose it. Today, if you have a bank account, for me to open our eyes to understand something, if you have a bank account, one bank account, you have how many BVN numbers? How many? If you have 10 bank accounts, how many BVN numbers? And then we went to do one registration called NIN. National identification number in Nigeria that we should become like cows and we should carry marks in our ID cards. And they were asking me a series of questions. My height, my thumbprint, everything. And I was giving them. Like it's pushing down to us in Nigeria. It's pushing down to us. The Bible says that Satan himself caused everybody, both great and small, rich and poor, bond or free, to receive marks. There are some people living in this world, evil pak 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 some pastors have the mark of the Antichrist already. If the rapture happens now, it is then you will know their true identity. The one you think has been an ordinary human being. You will not know that that person has been passing through training on how to torment true believers after the, anti after the rapture. Are we blind that this time around we no longer see anything wrong with the wise of the devil? And I still see ladies, when they do their hair, they cover one part of their eyes. You don't know what it means. You want to please your husband. You want to look beautiful. You make your hair, you cover one part of your eye. Listen. It is satanism. If you see the symbol of Illuminati, it's a pyramid. And at the very top of the pyramid, before the very edge, you have the eye of Lucifer. One eye. So when you see Rihanna covering one part of her eye, she is telling you that I am an Illuminati. And a divine Akata member will say, I like Rihanna because of this hairstyle. be wise. We have to be wise. Because some of the things we use are produced under the water. 
and they push them into this world, even some of the fish we buy. If you are not carrying the fire of the Holy Ghost, you are not carrying the fire of the Holy Ghost. Pray that God should anoint you. Before we round up, Revelation chapter 7. Revelation 7. Verse 2 and 3. And I saw another angel descending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, whom, saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea, neither the trees, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. Even the children of God, they have these marks. But those marks are from heaven. A time of cal calamity. John was being told, a time of calamity, a time of distress is coming upon the earth. But you angels, wait first. We have our own on earth. Let us go and mark them. Let's go and seal them with the mark of heaven. How many of us have the marks of God upon us? Do we know that two easiest ways of receiving satanic signs into the human body, either the spirit or the body, is through courtism and spiritual possession? Courtism. Two small boys in primary school, they were playing. They brought the case to me. They were playing. And one said, uh, open your hand. The small boy opened his hand and he dropped a bird's eye. Bird's eye. And said, swallow it with other things. Swallow it. The boy swallowed it and became possessed. And he said, from today you have been initiated. Primary school boys. Some of our children are paying 100, 100 naira subscription. Jews. In court. Sometimes when you see boys gathered in worry, in streets, drinking, it's not better party or many of them. You, you, even with your money, you cannot go there to drink. Call them small boys. They have something that is big that if they bring it out, you will need and start urinating immediately. They are not small boys. Let's be on our feet. We have to pray. Be serious to pray. There is nothing to rejoice about. One day I saw a boy, one small boy, he had a tattoo. Tears mark, tears drop. Here. Yeah. I said, what does it mean? I had to quickly rush and go and do research. It means that it is either you have killed somebody, or you lost somebody, or you were raped. There is nothing that is without a meaning in this world. Everything has a meaning. We want to surrender our lives to God. We are living in a spiritual world that is embedded in a physical world. Close your eyes. Can you begin to talk to God? That, Lord, any mark that is not from you, I want you to remove it from me today. Any mark that is from the devil, remove it from me. Any satanic mark that I have received, oh, Lord, my Father, remove it from me. Remove it, O oh Lord! Remove it from me! Any evil mark that I am carrying. Round up your prayers. We want to break. This is the last prayer point you want to take. We want a yoke to break. Before we pray the prayer point, listen. I like talking from experience. A lady traveled to abroad 
And when she got there, the madam told her, this was somebody I was very close to. The madam told her that it's prostitution, no, but there is so much money. If you can balance me, you, became a, you will become automatically a madam for yourself. She went into the work and she could not do the work. Before she will sleep with two men, three men, she will become tired. The madam will say, whether you like it or not, you will pay me my money because I am feeding you. I paid your flight to this country. You are living in an apartment. You must work my money. One of the girls now told her, hey, you fool. You t say now not a body that said they do this work. It is not your normal body you used to do this work. Oh. Come, let's go to one Babalawo. She went there. They gave her a sham. They now exchange her private part with that of a dog. So she could sleep with even 100 men. There is no problem. When she came back, I created time and I was hearing stories, asking questions. Person will follow dog sleep. The next minute, he won't cast the devil. Lift up your two hands. Say, so, oh Lord, my father. Because you will remain God forever. Those you have destined for salvation, those you have destined for emancipation, you will set them free. Amen. Those you have destined for deliverance today, even as our Father makes declaration, may freedom be poured down in abundance today Amen. upon your lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. We hope you were blessed by this message. For more information, visit our website www.egoeyeopener.com. Email us at rosannadavid at ymail.com or info at egoeyeopener.com. God bless you.